ever wonder what the future holds for Bitcoin as it continues to plummet in value after reaching an all-time high in March 2024? Let's dive into the world of industry expert. How we start with some of our crypto and how we eternal sick ways and how we are crypto and see how industry experts are viewing this situation. Um, firstly, the fear and greed index in the crypto market has taken a sharp dive to 30 points, uh, the lowest since September 2023. Uh, this decline is attributed to a general slump in the crypto market, with Bitcoin falling from $62,500 to $59,100, uh, pulling other assets down with it. Analyst Willy Wu points towards a cascading long squeeze in BTC, suggesting that miners' capitulation after the Bitcoin halving in April has led to speculators adding new long positions and thereby fueling more liquidations. If Bitcoin falls below $54,000, we might enter a bearish phase. And now what about the Bitcoin ETF? Despite uh, the market instability, investors poured about $2.6 billion into Bitcoin ETFs in Q2 2024, up from $1.3 billion in Q1, Reversal could indicate renewed investor interest in the asset class and a potential start of a new phase in crypto market dynamics. As for Ethereum, City predicts that net inflows into Ethereum ETFs could reach between $3.8 billion and $4.5 billion over the same period, potentially increasing the price of EFA by 23-28% meaning ETH of article could rise to $4,417 by November this year. Despite the current market scenario, experts remain optimistic about the medium-term trend of Bitcoin. Former Goldman Sachs CEO Raul Powell predicts significant cryptocurrency growth in Q4 2024, attributing it to the U.S. presidential election. Uh, so with all these expert opinions, will you be investing in Bitcoin or Ethereum soon. After all, fortune favors the brave and in the world of crypto, it surely helps to have a bit of bravery. And with that said, thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next episode.